So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to start um, looking at population. With regards to population, I'm probably going to do two or three videos just to go through the extensive notes that I've put up. Um, these notes will help you basically with uh, test two, but also will help you with your reports. So what you need to do is the first part is just some general sort of overview of what demography is. If you click on uh, what is demography, the notes come up and it, it explains like what is demography. Basically, demography is a study of population and the behavior of that population. And it gives you a definition of um, it gives you a definition of what population actually is and so you need to read through this and it broadly defines demography okay the characteristics of population it then goes on to measure some of the indicators of like population size and how to define this so if you read through this part of it and also talks about predator prey and uh, sustainable populations it mentions the term carrying capacity which is the maximum population an environment can sustain okay have we gone beyond our carrying capacity in the world for example talks about population density and population density what this is is the number of people per square uh, measurement and it could be when looking at your population why have you got a large number of people concentrated in a certain part it might be around industry it may be around the coast things like this so when you're looking at your population you might want to talk about density in terms of uh, where people are moving what processes are taking place things like urbanization for example or are people leaving an area because maybe war or disease or food shortage water shortage these sort of things soil erosion okay so you want to look at the concept of population density also we also look at when we're looking at population is age structure and basically when we're looking at age structure what we're seeing is what what percentage of the population are in each age group how is this going to affect the population? For example, have you got a lot of people who are um, pre-reproductive? Have you got a lot of people in the reproductive ages? Have you got a lot of people who've gone beyond the reproductive ages? Okay, so age structure is important and how you look at that is by looking at thing, uh, some of the population pyramids. And this is a population pyramid. Um, I go into this a little bit more detail in some of the other notes, but basically population pyramid is a snapshot of a population in one specific year okay and what it looks at is females males and it looks at the different uh, numbers um, in each age in each age bracket which is usually a four-year bracket zero to four five to nine etc etc and from this you can work out things like um, life expectancy you can look at social planning with regards to these population pyramids you can see how things are changing you can make future predictions for example if you have a large number of people below the age of 15 in say in say 10 to 15 years time what's going to happen to your population okay so you need to start to think about and understand population pyramids we also look at uh we also look at another sort of like area which is basically looking at the impact of a specific component of population so read through this the next part is mortality okay and we look at like things like crude death rates within a society what's influencing those death rates okay so these are just some of the um, some some of the major sort of like components of demography we also look at life tables life tables you may have heard of life tables look at things like um, often the risk how how much of the population is expected to reach a certain age okay they use them for things like 
life insurance. <coughs> Sex ratio within a population is also important. This may change, a number of things can affect this sex ratio, males to females. For example, it may be um, war could, af could af affect the sex ratio of a population. A specific age group that have gone off to war, a specific um, component of that society which has fought within a war may affect the sex ratio. So if you're looking at your country and analysing your country, this is something that you may want to look at. Okay, so this is basically just a summary of what is demography. The next section of notes is on crude birth rates, crude death rates and natural increase rates. You need to look at these um, for your country in terms of its past crude birth rate, um, its present and its future. Same with death rates and same with natural increase. Okay, crude birth rates is basically, this is the number of live births within a society per 1,000 people per year. Crude death rates, number of deaths per 1,000 of population per year and natural increase is the difference between that crude birth rate and that crude death rate. You can get natural increase rates. Okay, so say your crude birth rate per 1,000 was 40 per 1,000 and your crude death rate was 20 per 1,000, your natural increase would be 20 per 1,000 or a 2% increase. So it's a way of working out natural increase. So, from these notes, what we can say is, over the last 200 years, what we've had is this growth has, um, it was relatively stable until we had something which actually led to a rapid expansion. That something has been um, the Industrial Revolution and, and industrialization. It wasn't until 1804 that we had in the world a population of 1 billion. But ever since then, growth rate has rapidly increased. And it's expected to be um, 9, billion, uh, 9 billion plus by 2048. Okay, so we've had a rapid growth. And this is exponential growth. It, it starts off, it's relatively stable, then something causes it to rapidly grow. So there's been three factors which have led to um, human sort of like development. And this has been things like our, mo our movement into new habitats and different climatic zones, greater movement. Second has been um, greater use of agriculture. And there's been two, two agricultural revolutions. We're using the land very differently and farming very differently. And in more recent times, things like improvements in sanitation systems. If you think back, when was the sanitation system introduced in somewhere like Philadelphia or some of the major cities? Also developments of antibiotics, vaccines. And as a result, what we've seen is death rates have fallen sharply. Often, um, death rates have fallen faster than birth rates, which has led to a rapid growth in population. What we're seeing also is that population growth is not even around the world. What we're seeing in the developed world is populations growing very slowly and also it may be in some cases population is starting to age and die back. Whereas in a lot of developing countries what we're seeing is population growing rapidly. It's estimated that the population in developing countries, 35% of that population is under the age of 15. So it's growing much more rapidly. Okay? So, like I said, there are three factors which influence population size. The first is crude birth rates. The second is crude death rates. So you've got an input, crude birth rate. You've got a death, um, crude death rates and output, but you also have a third factor, which is migration. Migration can influence distribution. Migration can also influence density. That migration, you have people immigrating and emigrating in and out of areas. So this is going to affect many, many different things. Okay. So human populations of countries 
or cities or regions grow or de decline through three basic factors, births, deaths and migration. And what you can calculate from this is what's termed population change. And this is what your uh, report is focusing upon, population change. Okay, so it's everyone coming into an area either through birth or through uh, my, a form of migration or leaving an area through death or through another form of migrating out of an area. We also can look at another measurement used in population is the fertility rate. And basically this is the number of children um, born to a woman during her lifetime. And one of the things that's particularly useful to look at is what's termed the replacement level fertility rate. This is basically seen as 2.1. To replace um, a couple, you need that couple has to have 2.1 children. If it is below 2.1, that population in that society will be declining. If it's above 2.1, that population in that society will be growing. So when doing your report, you need to focus on also birth, de birth rates, death rates, also a natural increase, migration, where are people moving, but also look at fertility rates and total fertility rates. Okay, so these are some of the things. Is your country re replacing itself? Is it not replacing itself? So when looking at your report, make sure you have all the demographic indicators, the crude birth rates, the death rates, fertility rates, natural increase rates, for three distinct times. You're looking at change, so you need a past figure, maybe 20 years back, a present, and a future. Okay, and I gave you a starting point earlier with regards to when, if you go through, you've got the useful link for, for report one. It will give you some of these figures. Okay, so make sure you use this. You've got a demographic overview of your country. Say you were doing Afghanistan. You could um, use a demographic overview to get some of the initial figures to start with. Okay, so this is looking at uh, fertility rates, mortality rates, migration levels. Okay, you've got crude birth rates. So, like I said, if it's 2.1, a population, the population remains the same. In Afghanistan in 1995, the average number of children or births per woman was eight. It's come down, or it's expected to come down even further by 2025. So if you're analysing what's going to happen to your country, you look at these fertility rates. You also look at, at birth rates. Birth rates have come down. Give some reasons for these sort of things. Okay? What I'm going to do in the next video is basically what I'm going to do in the next video is go back and look through go look through um, the areas such as population pyramids and demographic transition notes. This is important because um, it will look at the age structure of your country, how to analyse pyramids. Also, the demographic transition notes, when I go through this in the next video, will look at some factors that influence birth rates, some factors that influence death rates. Okay, So it's important to make sure that you read these notes, but also watch the video.